Good morning, uh, to my YouTube buddies. Uh, we're up here at the Glen. Uh, the river's blowed out pretty high, nasty, muddy. A lot of the creeks are. But we found the Glen up here where, well, you guys will probably remember when you watched the video, I did the coming down the backside here and caught some small trout coming down through. So I also have with me today my wife. Um, we're heading up here and we're going to fish this all the way down through and try to catch some trout. So I will uh, hopefully catch a couple and let you guys come along with us. So hang tight. We'll see you out here on the water. Look at that beautiful water out there, guys. Check it out. She got a little bit of a, a little bit of an attitude going on, a little bit of current in there. But we're gonna try and fish it still anyway. It's gonna beat sitting at home, I can tell you that much, man. All this rain that we've been getting, whoo, it's crazy. We were gonna take the boat out this morning, but. That river's just, I don't know, I don't trust it right now. It's, and not to mention it's muddy, and I don't in particular like to fish in muddy water. I mean, that's just my preference. Um, but I'm hoping, let's cross our finger, guys, that my wife catches a couple trout today. That would probably make her day. I'm gonna let her start off in this first spot. We got here a little late, but we didn't wanna wake up early. I'd try right here. Yeah, go ahead, what do you put on? If you if you patiently fish that out, even like that corner, you should get you should get a hit in there. Guys, I'm gonna try to let this camera run in for a couple minutes just to see if my wife can get hooked up with one. I got my fingers crossed. Like I said, these trout ain't nothing really big in here, but. Well, guys, that was a no-go right in there. We didn't get no hookups in there. We checked them a couple pockets out. A lot of this is basically just like pocket water fishing. So we're on our way right now, heading down to uh, try a couple of these pockets over here on this backside. So we'll see what we can pull out of them pockets. Hopefully we can get lucky. Guys, we're trying so hard for my wife to catch her first trout today even if it's a small one she just had one swinging at her golden retriever but then they wouldn't take it so we put a bright green mop fly on hoping that might bring her a little bit of luck I don't know definitely a beautiful day out today that's for sure after dealing with all that freaking rain I got to figure we we came a good ways downstream we still didn't get a hookup she actually missed three of them up yonder that got off so we're still trying to get for her for to get her first one I figure over there she should maybe get a hook up over there, I'm thinking. Did you put the golden retriever back on? Got my first one! Tiny one, little native, oh, he got off, don't count. 
Well, you guys see, I was hooked up with it. It was a little native. Took that little, uh, I think it's a little ISO that I'm fishing. All right, guys. I just caught my second one. Maybe it's going to start to get a little better now. starting to heat up. Let me get my hand wet. Thank you, Lord. This fly that I'm using, guys. Oh, this is a pretty brook. Really, really. I mean, the markings on this brook is pretty. There you see it, guys. Uh, anyways, the fly that I caught this on. Ah, oh, there my rod just about went in the water. I tied this pattern. I copied it uh, off of... Uh, there, look at the color on that. PA Wood Outdoors. Um, and you guys will probably laugh at me, but I forget the name of this fly. So, uh, I know I tied a couple up. It was back a little while ago. I seen him catching them and I copied his recipe. Uh, so if you guys see, I'll show you right there. PA Woods, if you watch this, drop a comment. Let me know what for fly that is again, because I forget. All right, let's see if we can't get into another one. I'm hoping my wife soon hooks up with a couple. Almost seems like down on the, on the swing down here is where they're taking it. Right here in that pocket. All right, guys, I call a little native. Another little native. Little tiny one. How's it going? Look at that, guys. That's a gorgeous little native. Get him back in the water. It's definitely nice to know that we still have some of them in here. Getting some little nibbles over here now and then. I had a bunch of them upstream a little bit ago in the one pocket. My poor wife, she still hasn't gotten hooked up yet. I hope she does soon. There's another one, guys. Another little native. Boy, they're tearing that nymph up, you know it. That's a good little nymph. Thank you, PA Woods Outdoors, man. Wow, this thing really does get it done. I wish I remembered what it was called. I believe it's some type of isonicia, but there's a nice little brook. Man, guys, I can't believe how that thing works. There it is again. I don't know if you guys can see it real good. But it's definitely, I tied this on and I was struggling for a while. And like I said, we ain't catching no big ones, but catching fish.
figure I'd go to something more natural because I had a a, a little uh, greeny weenie on because the inchworms but a lot of guys been up here throwing the greeny weenies and I'm like eh, let's put something a little more natural you know how it is after they've done took a couple hooks from the greeny weenies it gets a little a little tougher you gotta fool them I believe there's a couple more fish in here to be had yet. Guys, we're definitely, uh, I know you've probably seen in some of my videos, we're heading down to a bridge that I really like to fish underneath. And I know you guys are going to remember it when you see me get underneath there. So, that's where we're working our way. Guys, check it out. I hope it picks, the camera picks it up. My wife just caught her first one. Congratulations! I bet that make it, yeah, that put a smile on her face. Awesome job, Michelle. Nice netting work, too. Good job. But that just made her freaking day. What is it, little brook? Awesome job. Little native. Guys, my wife just caught her second. You touched it, right? Yeah. So it counts. She touched it and then it jumped off. Awesome. I'm glad to see her getting into them. Like I said, guys, they ain't no monsters. And it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't always have to be monsters. Catching trout in general is just very, very fun, especially on the fly rod very relaxing guys my wife just hooked into probably a little bit bigger huh oh yeah don't overfight it yes nice job Michelle <clears throat> Got her in the net. That's the, that's the biggest one of the day. Yeah. Nice brook. Nice job. Yes. All right, guys. Took me a little while, but I got uh, another one. Some tiny little trout, but like I said, they're fun. On that same fly. There we go. Look. Same fly. Tell you what, that P.A. Woods man, check him out because he ties some killer flies. The only difference is he catches killer trout with them and I catch the little guys. Oh, this is so fun. So relaxing. This water's, a, this water's a little slow, but I don't have a split shot on in the nymphs are still going down through. Very slow, but natural. We're about ready to get out of here and go to another spot here before long. Oh yeah, I got a nice one. Eh, about the same size as that one, maybe not quite. Guys, we just got hooked up with another one right up underneath the bush. Oh, oh, 
My wife got one. Double hookup. Thank you, Lord. This is a true blessing right here. Look at this. So what? We got a double. We got a double. All that long, hard work week we had. This is a blessing. There you see them, guys. Same fly. My wife's getting hers out. I think she caught that on the Golden Retriever. Alright, black woolly bugger. I'm sorry, guys. Black woolly bug. Awesome job, though. Awesome job. I seen your rod tip bending over, and I'm like, I hope and pray that that's one on because that was a double. You call him right behind you. Guys, there you go. My wife's hooked up with another one. Nice job. You're putting a hurt on him today. Yeah, that's true. She said it's a little long overdue, guys, which is true for her. Had to get my stick fish I caught there. It was caught up. Yeah, I know. Guys, my wife got another one. You know what? You're doing awesome at getting them on that reel right away. You know it. In case they want to run. <coughs> Let me come up to you. Keep them in the water. That's a really nice one. I don't know what. Oh, guys, I just missed one right there. As my nymph was dragging coming to you. Take your time. Nice, nice fish, Michelle. Nice job. That's a beautiful one. You deserve that. Oh, she just lost that one, guys. She's starting to run the show here now. Guys, there she is, running the show today, man. She is running the show. <clears throat> I know why she's putting this show on today, guys. She's hoping that one cast, one fish makes his funny comment about kicking my butt. <sighs> nice job, Michelle. You got him? Black woolly bugger, man. She's tearing it up. I was on fire, but now she's taking the lead. Hey. Guys, we just came back. Or, yeah. I came back upstream just a little bit yet. Right where we were fishing before. Uh, oh, there. I just lost him. Just We just had a little native one. So, well, we're going to try and catch a couple more because I've seen them up in here swimming around. So. Before we leave this spot, I figured we'd give her another shot.
There, I just had another one swing at it, guys. But I missed him. Shell. I see my wife left one down here for me. She was standing here. She must have not have seen this one. Get my hand a little wet. There we go. Little skinny sucker. All right, guys, we were walking along trying to find another spot to fish. This beautiful area up here, this is the kind of stuff I'm sorry, but this stuff really makes me get angry. You see that? Bottles, lids. You see those can tabs right there? Tea, tea carton. This is up here in Lichens at the Glen. Beautiful area up here. Beautiful recreational area. You got a blue bowl just left over there. I'm sorry, but you know what? To me, that takes a true scumbag to do stuff like this. I'm sorry to say it that way, but point blank, you're ruining Mother Nature. So, if you watch this video and you had anything to do or you even do stuff like this, you're a scumbag. The way I see it. So, guys, don't do that, man. It's just ruining nature. <clears throat> All right, guys. I kept up my end of the bargain here. Made my promise. We are underneath that bridge. Water's a little bit swifter than I want it to be, but we're going to fish it. Hopefully people didn't come down here and clean them up in here. I hope not. There we go. Guys, look at that. Right off the bat. Do you see that? That was a good take. And he took that, man, I wish I knew what it was called. Oh, he got off, guys. But I touched him. That's all that matters. That was a hungry fish. Ooh, had a thump, guys, had a thump.
There we go, guys. There we go. We're hooked up again. Like I said, they're all small, but check them out. We'll take them. He wet my hand here. God bless them. Bless the Lord for this beautiful day that he's given me once again. Sometimes when you need it the most. Come on. Look at that little slim boy. He's pretty though. We'll take him. Whoop, there he went. I always know there's fish down here. I always know to come down here. It's not fun. It's not fun how you get down here. It's a pain, but it, there's fish here. Had another hit, guys. There's another one in there. Oh, I keep getting some nibbles. I feel them. There we go, guys. Another one. Look at this. I told you. I told you. The Lord always blesses me down underneath this. I shouldn't say it out loud, but he always blesses me here. It's a nice, beautiful brook. There he is, guys. I'm getting back in the water now. Wash my hands off. There's no doubt in my mind, guys, that there's more where he come from. Got another one, guys, over there by that log he was laying. Hopefully we don't lose him. A little bit strong current. He was laying right over there by that tree. He's taking the same old nymph. The same old nymph. There he is. I believe we caught that one before. See that? Remember that funny red gill? I believe we caught that one. Guys, this one took it aggressive. They just smacked it. Woo! That was good action right there. Oh, yes, it was. Look at this pretty brook. Oh, look at this pretty brook. Oh, my goodness. Come on, baby. Calm down. Hooked him in right in the corner of the lip. Guys, look at the, look at the colors in them. Beautiful little brook. The good Lord sent that one to me, baby. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this video up. Um, 24 of them on there, so 
hopefully you guys enjoy watching this. Uh, and I'm going to take this moment and thank all my subscribers once again. Um, we're slowly creeping up there with subscribers. I hope to get better and better. I hope it's not a channel that's going to go backwards, but we're going to try not to let it. Uh, but yeah, if you guys never uh, checked them out, uh, PA Woods Outdoors, you got to go over there and check that guy's videos out. But you got to love fly fishing to do it. But uh, I'm going to end this video. We'll see you guys on the water. I don't know where it'll be. It could be fly fishing. It could be bass fishing. Who knows? Or it could be something else. So until then, I'll see you guys on the water.